So my research area is to look at the biological and evolutionary foundations of consumer behavior. Most social scientists have traditionally argued that what makes us humans is that we transcend our biology. So they view that much of the forces that drive our consumatory nature is the environment. I argue that yes, that's true, but also our biology has a profound effect on the consumer choices that we make. And so I look at things that are common across cultures. What is common to the Peruvian, Nigerian, and Montreal consumer? Uh, those are called human universals precisely because those consumers share a biological heritage. And so that's exactly what I try to look for, human universals within the consumer area. Uh, so let me give you a few examples of studies that I've recently conducted. So with one of my uh, former doctoral students, we looked at how the menstrual cycle affects women's uh, consumption. Specifically, we looked at their food-related behaviors and also their beautification practices. With one of my other former graduate students, we looked at how conspicuous consumption, for example, putting men in a fancy uh, Porsche where everybody can see them driving a fancy car, how that would affect their testosterone levels. And what we found is that as soon as you put a young male in a fancy car, their testosterone shoots through the roof. So these are the types of issues that I try to study. How does our biology, how does our evolutionary history affect our consumatory nature?